I had a good hybrid. Oh my god, I have not uploaded in so long. Three months. Oh, I gotta get a video out, guys. Uh, okay, we're gonna show you how to upload to the Steam Workshop. If you need additional help, by the way, we have a Discord. Also, I apparently have already done decision modding. I do not remember making it, but apparently it's on the channel, so enjoy. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we're gonna get into how to upload a mod to the Steam Workshop. It's a very simple process, uh, so we're just gonna do that. So the first thing you need to do is open Steam, right? Because Steam's important. Yes, content warning. Uh, next, you're gonna navigate to Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, I believe this is the tutorial we'll do in Hearts of Iron. We're gonna right click where it says Hearts of Iron right here. Go to manage and uh, browse local files. And you can tell I don't really play Hoi 4 that often. I loaded onto it. <laughs> We're also gonna launch Hoi 4 and open it because we need both. So this is base game. Actually, I don't. I don't actually think you need base game files for this mod tutorial. Alrighty. We're gonna go ahead and go to mod library. This is making a mod. If you already have a mod made, ignore this part. Create a mod. Steam mod test. Yeah, whatever. One alternate history. Great. Boom. You just made your mod. That is the best thing ever, right? This tutorial is already a minute in. Like, insane. But we aren't going too fast and we ain't going too slow. We're going to click add to in the playsets. Add to current playset. Or you can add it uh, somehow. Uh, add more mods right here. Um, It's right here. And you'll click these three dots right here. Click show in folder. This will open your mods folder. And this is how you open it. Now, for the Steam mod, you want two things. You want to, one, publish it. And two, you want an image for it. So, we're going to do the image first. Um, we're... Uh, How do I make an image? All right, we're gonna save this. Wait, can I, here, let me, let me do this. So I'm gonna grab a random screenshot right now, save, and I'm gonna save it in, oh God, what? Can I enter a file name? Dang it, I actually have to navigate to it. Uh, hold up. Alright, so you got your image right here. Now, it's important that, uh, you rename it. There's two rules, uh, about this. You need it to be named thumbnail. So, for the thumbnail, it needs to be named thumbnail. And it has to be a PNG. You can convert it online in your editor. Next, I'm gonna open this in... Uh, uh, painting software, <laughs> right? I'm going to open it in paint.net. Paint.net is free if you get it on Google and it costs money if you get it on Microsoft, just so you know, uh, you could look up a tutorial of how to install it. So here's your thumbnail. It, it won't work yet. And that's because we need to click image resize and we need to resize at 600 or the width 600. Wait, no, I was right. The width 600 and the height 600. Like that. And you just click OK. Boom, this is proper. Gonna... There we go. And I'm gonna save it. Control S. I have auto detect. I'm gonna click OK. Now your thumbnail saved as a PNG named thumbnail, right? It's right here. Now you're gonna open descriptor.mod, which I'm just gonna use notepad because it's simple. And gonna write under version, I'm gonna drop down a line, gonna type in picture equal quotation mark thumb thumbnail, and then you're gonna add the extension dot png. And now it will show that thumbnail. But now we need to upload the mod. So in order to do that, we're going to go to mod library, upload mod. 
we're gonna go select the mod so steam i can't search apparently so i actually have to find it steam mod test we're gonna upload it to steam workshop and you know you have steam mod test current version or if you want to change the version mod id um i believe it can auto generate yeah so it could choose one for you or if you want to overwrite so if you want to replace an existing mod that you have you would paste that mod id in description this is for a tutorial tutorial there we go so upload mod it's going to take some time and it won't be published uh automatically but now since the mods uploaded if you go to your steam account i think wait no wait you go here you go down to profile i believe i think you could view micro how do you view my creations guys wait that's a good question hold up all right i figured it out so yeah you go here to your profile and you just click workshop items and then you have like all your mods you've made or whatever uh you can see this one right here now you'll notice this it says currently visible uh visibility hidden but you see it has your icon and everything uh and i believe you can also change maybe you could change this to something match the whatever um this will only be visible to you admin and anyone marked as a creator so you can edit it from here now uh since it's on the steam workshop um i i don't really mess with steam workshop you can change visibility right here make it public but again i th believe they put it in review for a second so no one might be able to see it when it's public um and then you can edit add whatever this is how to add uh owners but it is published so it's up here and then to update a steam or update one of the things you want to grab this id right here i just want the id okay i just copy the id no okay i just want the id you grab the id right here yo oh no i just i'm so good at this don't worry you go back to here you go to upload mod again and this is to update Go to your mod you do mod id this will just so you know it will override the mod if you uh, do this so this is the id it will override if you click this it overrides it so if you just do some random mod with nothing in it and you don't have a backup of your other mod it just overrides it so keep that in mind to update your mod this is how you have to do it though and then you would click upload mod and do the same thing it replace all the files boom now it's on here and then if you refresh it would be updated that is uh hopefully short enough i don't it's a little bit long didn't want it to go eight minutes but it's eight minutes so that's how you upload your game your mod to steam make it public by clicking this public button of course i'm not going to because it's literally nothing in the mod and it's whatever this thing is but yeah um I've uploaded after three months. Let's see if I can do it sooner. I'm going to try to actually upload more, guys. Thank you. Goodbye.